Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3-1 of May, June 2012 of A-Level Math. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So question number one, we have to solve this equation. Um, well, you can see here we have modulus on one side, 4 minus 2 power of x, and then giving your answer in terms uh, of three significant figures. So again, here solving means finding the unknown. We have to find the value of x accordingly. So how can you break this down pretty easy? That will be 4 minus 2 power x is equal to 10, or 4 minus 2 power x is equal to minus 10. So this is a way to cancel out the modulus on one side. Now we can solve step by step. Now send this over here and this over here because the goal here is to make x become subject because we are trying to find the value of x, right? Now before minus 10, that will be 2 power x. Here you will have uh, 4 plus 10, 2 power x. Simplify, we become minus 6, 2 power x, 14, 2 power x. Now, as you can see, the power of x, uh, x is as a power here, right? It is in terms of a power. So we want to bring it down. Now, to bring it down, we have to apply log or log on both sides. You can choose either one. In this case, I'll choose log on both sides. Right, so same thing over here as well. Not a big change for now. But you can see clearly, log cannot take a negative value. So this will not be valid for this one. Now this one, pretty easy. By the laws of logarithms, I can bring this down over here, you will have x log of 2 has to be log of 14. So finally, x has to be log of 14 divided by log of 2. That will be 3.81 for your answer correct to 3SF. Here you go. And this is your question number 1. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to uh, we have to expand this thing over here in terms of x until the term in x squared. Now one by one, how can we do this? So first thing first, we do realize well this can be written again as if you were to bring this back up, that will be power minus half. Make sense? Now this one is a binomial expansion. We should know well usually for a binomial expansion when you have one plus x power n, this have to be plus one. And this have to be negative or a fraction for it to be possible to use that formula. So now we confirm what well, this is plus one. This is a fraction or negative. So we can use the formula pretty easily. It is one plus nx plus n times n minus one times x squared divided by two factorial. And we can stop right here because we only need until x squared. The rest there's no need. So we confirm this is is naturally in this form. So we can use the formula one by one. So in this case, this is plus 1. This is our x, which is 4x in the formula. And n is the value of minus half in the formula. Let's replace one by one. So here we have 1 minus this, power minus half. That will be 1 plus n. x here is minus 4x. Plus n will be minus half. Minus 1 will be 3 over 2 x squared divided by 2 factorial. And then here we don't need we don't need further because we will stop at x squared. Because of that we don't need to go further than this. Now simplify. This will give you what? This will cancel out with this and this will cancel out with this. So you have 1 plus 2x. How about this one? Let's use your calculator. Have minus 1 over 2 times minus 3 over 2 times 16 divided by 2 factorial which is just 2. That will be 6. So plus 6x squared. Here you go. So the idea is uh, we were able to expand this into this. That is part one done. Now part two, hence, meaning hence using part one, we only have to find the coefficient of x squared in this expansion. So again, one by one, let's try to simplify this. This is what? This is 1 plus 2x. If you were to bring this back up, that will be 4 minus 16, this one. Now, the reason why it says hence, we have to use part one. Now we have to show, well, is, is this the same as this? The idea is we have to make it become the same or similar. Now this one is very similar, so what can we do is we can factorize four outside. When you do this, you also have to give it the power. You will have one 
and then minus 4x. Now you can see this one is the same as this one, right? Now we can use the value we get from the first part. So the idea is, now what is that? 4 power minus half is half. Okay, so let's put this in front. You'll have half here in front. Here we have 1 plus 2x. And here we have, now this is the same as this. That'll be 1 plus 2x plus 6x squared. Now obviously there's no need to expand everything. We only need the coefficient of x squared, right? So let's choose. 1 times which one will give you x squared? Times this one. So half is half outside. 1 times 6x squared. Now plus 2x, so plus this one times which one will give you x squared? This one. That will be 4x squared. That will be half. There you go. And you have 5 x squared. Okay, and this is your answer for 5 right here is your coefficient as your answer for question number 2. Now let's move on to question number 3. So here we have p of x is defined to you by, by this. Alright, now let me rewrite this as what? So as you can see, something is missing here. So we have x cubed plus 0x squared minus 3ax plus 4a. Right, now we have what? We have given that x minus 2 is a factor of p of x. Find the value of a. So pretty simple, how can we use that? We understand that uh, for which value of x then? So x minus 2 is your factor. Equate to 0, so x will have to be the value of, of 2. So it means that when p takes in the value of 2, the remainder will be 0. So using this equation, let's find the value of a. So replace a cube, so 2 cube will be the value of 8 minus 6a plus 4a have to be the value of 0. So you will have minus 2 is equal to minus 8. a will have to be the value of 4 right here. That is part 1 done. Now for part 2, when a has this value, great, we have to factorize p of x completely. So one by one, what is p of x right now? So we can write this down p of x was found to be x cubed plus 0x squared minus 12x plus 16 according to your question. Now we want to find uh, the other factors, right? So we have to perform long division. Divide by x minus 2, which is one of the other factors given to you already. Now let's do this. To make x becomes x cubed, have to multiply by x squared. So take the whole thing times this, you will have x cubed minus 2x squared. This will go away. 0 minus minus become 2, this one, and then we have this, plus 60. To make x become 2x squared, so times plus 2x, right, you will have 2x squared minus 4x. So minus 12 plus 4 will be minus 8 plus 16. So finally, to make the value of x becomes minus 8, have to multiply by minus 8. Plus 16, and as expected, this have to be 0 because we know this one is a factor. The remainder will have to be 0. In the end, you have to get 0 right here. So in this case, we do know, well, p of x can be written as this one, which is x minus 2 times the quotient, which is this one right here. Now, can we factorize further? Yes, we can. That will be x, x, 8 is 4 times 2. To get plus 2, I have to have plus 4 minus 2. Now, we realize, well, you can see this and this are the same, right? So we can combine them. You will have x minus 2 squared times this one. So this is the complete factorization of p of x for question part A. Now, part B, find all the roots for this equation. Now, the only difference here is that is what? For example, I know p of x is this one, x minus 2, this one, and this one. Now, what is p of x squared? It just means that replace x by x squared. So you will have is equal to x squared minus 2 squared, x squared plus 4, and that is your new equation. Now equate that to 0, 
solve this. So first equation will be x squared minus 2 squared have to be 0. So x squared is equal to 2. So x have to be plus minus root of, of 2. How about this one? x squared have to be minus 4. So you will have x have to be plus minus root of minus 4. Now what is the value of root of minus 4, right? We should know that root of minus 4 can also be written as minus 1 times root of minus 4, which is simply 2. This is simply i, so this is plus minus 2i. And this is your answer for question number part b for these four roots. And this is question number 3. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.